the drama does continue, it seems, every day, Michelle. Thanks so much. So for more on the Iranian nuclear talks and the strained relations between the U.S. and Israel, let's bring in retired U.S. Army Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson. He's the former Chief of Staff to Secretary of State Colin Powell. Uh, Colonel, great to see you this morning. Good to be here. When we last had you on New Day, which was two days ago, you were optimistic that we were going to see a deal, a nuclear deal with Iran. Where are you this morning? I'm still about 60-40 on the positive side. I think there are a couple of issues, not least of which is when sanctions will begin to be lifted uh, that are sticking points. So we may not get a framework agreement, the formal agreement in the time frame that's been specified, say, end of March. We may get what is a political agreement and then still have to work on some of the details. But I still think that's a positive sign. Well, that's interesting that you're optimistic because it feels today as though things have stalled because that sanctions sticking point is a big one. Iran wants them lifted immediately. The U.S. does not want to do that. They want them tapered out over time. So where do they go with that? I think there's still ground for compromise. I, I think with the president's ability given to him by the legislature, by the U.S. Congress, to temporarily lift sanctions in key places, and with the Iranians' uh, ability to compromise somewhat on their side with regard to sanctions, I think there's still, uh, I still have optimism that we can reach uh, an agreement. Maybe not a final one by the end of March, but certainly a political agreement that will allow a final framework to be established. President Obama is doing something interesting. In the past 24 hours, he has addressed the Iranian people directly. He put out a YouTube video appealing to them to pressure their leaders. What do you think of that tactic? I'm not sure I would have done it, but uh, I have to admire at least I think what is a subtle political move because it, it, it is clear that particularly the 45 and below, and that's the majority of the 70 plus million Iranians, uh, like America, unlike most other people in the Middle East, when you poll Iranians, you don't find, as in Jordan, where it's less than 20 percent have a favorable view of us, you find huge percentages of the people in Iran who have a favorable perce uh, perception of us. So it's a subtle political move, if, if, not, the, if not a finger in the eye of the Iranian government. <laughs>